use the QFD House of Quality to design Six Sigma level quality into a new process. You can also use this when re-engineering a process. The, QM, the QFD House of Quality is organized with customer requirements down the left and design criteria across the top. You'll also see all these little red triangles in the House of Quality, which are helpful notes for you to follow as you're updating the template. The first step in completing the House of Quality is to gather and indicate your customer requirements. This is the what part of the House of Quality. When, when thinking about customer requirements, think in terms of improving speed, quality, or value, or reducing cycle time, defects, and costs. If you need to expand that matrix, you can simply copy and insert rows or columns to do so. The next step is to rate the importance of each requirement to the customer using a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being low and 5 being high. In this example, you can see that speed and quality are most important to the customer, with cost being the least important. Next, you're going to want to compare yourself to other companies. Give yourself a com your own company a score and then rate competitors in your field. Next, we're going to develop the design criteria. This indicates the how part of how we're meeting those customer requirements. In the example of the automobile industry, you might have a customer requirement of, I want a high miles per gallon, and your design criteria might have something to do with the weight of your vehicle. Or you might have a customer requirement of safety, and that might have a design criteria related to airbags. So again, across the top, list your design criteria that are going to help you meet those customer requirements. Then you're going to rate rate each design criteria and how well it meets that customer requirement. Do this using a scale of 1 to 9. Again, 1 being low, high being 9. In this example, you'll see that design criteria 1 has a high correlation with improving customer with improving quality. So that's a high correlation to meeting that customer requirement. Whereas design criteria has a low correlation in meeting the customer requirement around value. Next, you're going to compare yourself to other competitors. This is in relation to the design criteria. In this section of the template, you were re relating, comparing yourself to other competitors related to requirements. Here you're doing it related to design criteria. So again, score yourself and competitors, and then you'll set targets for improvement. The final aspect of the House of Quality is an absolute important score for each set of design criteria. To calculate this number, you'll take the sum of the importance of an item to the customer, multiply that to how well that specific design criteria met that requirement, do that for each requirement, and add them together. So in this example, for design criteria 1, we're going to take 5 times 1 and add it to 5 times 9. So 5 plus 45 is going to give this cri design criteria an absolute importance score of 50. And that's how you use the QFD House of Quality template in the QI macros.